so today we will be determining for dissolved oxygen that is DO so as you can see here we have prepared the reagents before as per the procedure given in the manual the reagents are manganese sulfate alkali iodide azide and then starch indicator and we will be taking standard sodium thiosulfate in the burette and we have taken concentrated sulfuric acid so all the reagents are prepared using the procedure given in the lab manual so as a sample we will be taking stp water that is sewage treatment plant water so this is a bod bottle of 300 ml capacity so the sample is being filled in the bod bottle it is filled completely Now the reagents that is manganese sulfate and alkali acidite of 2 ml will be added. 2 ml of manganese sulfate is measured. And is added to the sewage sample. This is alkali iodide aside, 2 ml of alkali iodide aside is measured. This is added to the sample. As you can see there is air bubbles in that, a tiny air bubbles are created. So before titrating it, mix it well until the air bubbles are vanished and then allow it to precipitate. It is being mixed well in order to eliminate the air bubbles which are trapped inside. Once all the air bubbles are eliminated, allow it to precipitate before the titration. After a while you can see that it has precipitated completely. Now we will add concentrated sulfuric acid. So 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid is added to the sample after the precipitation. So you can clearly see that it is turned into dark straw color. Now exactly measure 203 ml of sample from the VOD bottle and take it to the conical flask. So exactly 
203 ml of sample is taken from the BOD bottle, the conical flask to titrate it against sodium thiosulfate solution. So now the solution will be titrated against standard sodium thiosulfate solution until it turns to pale straw color. So as you can see from the dark straw color it has turned to pale straw color. Few drops of starch is added to the titrated solution now. After the addition of starch it has turned to dark blue color. Now titrate it until it appears to be colorless. So you can observe that from dark blue color it has completely appeared to be colorless. Note down the burette reading that is the volume of standard thiosulfate consumed in order to find out the amount of dissolved oxygen present in the solution using the formula given in the manual.